Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Bedeck and today I'll be doing a beautiful install with you guys. What is better than one install too? So if you haven't noticed already, we're going to be doing this beautiful blonde highlight, but we're also going to be doing the violet as well. Both absolutely gorgeous and come courtesy of Hermosa Air. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, jumping right into it. This is the packaging here. And as you guys can see, it's nice and hefty. There's not one, but two beauties included. They are both 13 by 4 HD lace wigs. One is a 127 mix. And then the other, I believe, is just a pink violet highlight. And they're both straight lace wigs, 24 inches in length. 220% density all of the additional specs are in the description box and here I was just showing you the inside construction of the caps on both as you guys can see they're nice long healthy and just not skimpy at all so this is the first one and this one here is the 127 mix it's a nice rich brown and it has these beautiful highlights in it as well i love the fact that they included baby hair and this is what it looks like set as a center part now these are free part wigs so you can do curve part middle part side part you can literally part anywhere you like and i love 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 how beautiful and quality the hair on this is Okay, ladies, so I went ahead and installed this beauty off camera. Let me show you what she looks like from the back. I love her. I love her so much. As I promised, today is a two-in-one. I'm going to do the exact same install process for both. So I just didn't think it was necessary to show both on camera. And as you guys can see, she is beautiful i love the color combo on this one it's very very nicely done the blonde in there is very rich but it's not like overpowering and then the selection of like the natural brown complements it perfect enough so that it's just not too in your face it's nice and fun as the weather begins to warm up you guys see what she looks like on and then this is what she looks like back you guys know i'm good to put like my hair back like this really quickly I didn't bond down the side just because I knew I was going for the violet. I chose to install the violet one with you guys. But, you know, you're going to see what the violet one looks like on it. But we're going to do the violet one together. So let me grab her. Okay, so let's take this one off. You guys seen all the details on this one. I can't tell if this one was my favorite or if the violet one is going to be my favorite. So far, I love them both. But the great thing about it is because I use a glueless adhesive, I'm able to just use water and it comes up. And I can use water along my skin as well. And it just will clean up any residue. This is what she looks like from the back. As you guys can see, this is no beauty supply store wig. No low, cheap, quality, affordable wig. This one is definitely a good quality beautiful wig and she's gonna curl she's gonna install she's gonna do everything you will need her to do so without wasting any time let's go ahead and jump right into the install keep in mind that the install for this one is the exact same install I did for the other one the only difference is with this one I'm gonna do a different style of baby hair just because I feel like the light baby hair on the first one complemented that one and this one can you know it can stand the chance of a little bit more of a drama I feel like with no baby hair it kind of gives more of a Barbie doll look just in general with me personally with color wigs but then it comes to like non-natural colored wigs that is so I just bond her down with the even and I pressed her in she does fit pretty much glueless because as you guys can see I added the adhesive I pressed it in but I didn't have to go right in and blow dried right now it is just sitting on my hairline and I'm not moving it around and she sits perfectly so that gave me the opportunity to go in and just pull out and section out the baby hair this area is what I chose before I start the process of like souping it and cutting it. I wanted to clean up the area around and this is going to help me decide if I need to like tweeze it or anything else. I decided to just add a little bit more of that adhesive around it. This is going to help to make sure everything sticks and then I'm going to go in and just blow dry on a cool setting. 
Once it's bonded down, we're going to take the wax stick and this one comes from bdacbeauty.com. Here I am using the electric hot comb and I like to just go in and, you know, really, really, really press out that area. I want the wig to fit super flat. I don't want it to be bulky, like even in the least bit. And this is kind of the key for me personally. You can do whatever you choose, but I just kind of feel like no other step that I do except the electric hot comb with wax gets me the results like this. So I also take it along the front and around that um, baby hair as well. And it also will press out the actual baby hair as well. Once I'm done, I went ahead and cut at an angle from the back to the front. This may seem backwards or awkward, but it definitely is key for me. And then I'm going to use a small pencil flat iron to curl the baby hair under. From there, I'm gonna use an edge brush to kind of just shape it and decide like what is the best shape for me. And I just went ahead and got the swoop together and just held it down with the blow dryer on a hot setting. And that's pretty much gonna help the hair to take its perfect shape. The even definitely helps with kind of helping to mold the hair in my opinion. Now that we have the baby hair formed, I'm just going in perfecting it and making sure it's to my liking. Again, if this is too thick for you, you can definitely thin it out. I think it complemented when you see the full hair. Again, this is 220% density and it's 24 inches in length. So I kind of feel like if I thinned it out, it would be a little bit too skimpy for me personally, but it's all about preference. You can also go the natural route and do no baby hair at all, or just, you know, switch it up and do what you love. Here I'm adding the Ruby Kisses Concealer along the hairline just to go ahead and make the hairline look a little bit more blended to my complexion and then i also used a different concealer along the parting if you follow me all the time you know what i used and if you're new you can definitely check the description box and i'll have a link there as well now i'm going to go in and silk out the ends now with this one i did not wash it before the install this is a straight out of the box um, install and I also did not add a heat protectant although I highly recommend that you do so look how beautiful this one is and how much body she has she's absolutely gorgeous I wore this one to activities with the kids and I got so many compliments from the moms about I think it was just how beautiful the hair is it has a nice luster and sheen to it I highly recommend let me know which one is your favorite okay ladies so we are done with the look I thought I loved the mixed highlight blonde, but this one is actually super fire. So I told you guys I was gonna do the exact same style um, on both, but I figured like how boring is that? Let's switch it up and do like super, super thick baby hair with this one. Again, I know this is not everybody's color, but the fact that this is HD lace and it's real good quality hair makes it so amazing. I have so many divas that love a good fun color, even if not just 24 seven, but just here and there a good switch up. And I highly recommend this one. They did give me two dust bags, if you're wondering. So if you order multiple wigs, of course, you will get all your goodies like you are purchased two things and so opening up one of the dust bags you do get your brown or your tan wig caps um you get not one but two sets of mink lashes two different styles which is really nice and then they also gave me a melt belt and then the other bag we have similar which is the wig caps the melt belt and then we also got lashes it's just a different one so that's nice to just pretty much have you know a little switch up anyways i don't have much complaints about this wig what i will say is i love the texture of this hair whenever i think of color hair sometimes i think of like cosplay or just like the cheap synthetic affordable like amazon or beauty supply store wigs and i'm happy to report that this one is definitely not that i don't know if you guys can tell the texture or the quality this isn't some cheap hair that's gonna like tangle at the nape it's actual good Hair. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I gotta get my babies in the bed. You guys know the drill. It's eight o'clock and I got an hour to do diamonds. Valentine's Day cards, write them and put them together. He got little, well, I got little fidget spinners for him to do for his class. And we have like 32, 31 students, something crazy. So we gotta go and assemble all of that. I still have to make them some dinner. It's gonna be like a Trader Joe's fried rice kind of night. Was well, supposed to be chilly, but we're right at the time. Gotta get the girls in the bath, get him in the bath. Um, kiss them goodnight, get the clothes out for tomorrow, plus edit, so, and fold laundry. So, I have a, basically my night is getting started, so I'm going to let you go so I can get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in and staying this long in the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.